Hi everyone, welcome back to the School of Social Works vlog series this semester. I'm Destiny McFall, interning at CWLA, which is the Child Welfare League of America in Washington, D.C. Today I wanted to focus on some of the reading and research that I've been doing regarding children and the pandemic. Um, this past Thursday, I was able to sit in on a meeting um, with our policy team and two different members from the American Bar Association's Center on Children and the Law. What that meeting really consisted of um, was addressing some of the impacts that COVID-19 has had on children who are a part of vulnerable populations, what we can do to address those issues, um, and what our role could look like in lessening the severity of those impacts. So in preparation for that meeting, we were to read an article that was written by the Washington Post, and it focused on a school that is located in Indio, California. And um, the article talks about how their attendance rate has dropped from 94% to as low as 70% in the year since COVID-19 hit. Um, another thing that they pointed out was that test scores have also dropped significantly and continue to decline. And the assistant principal of that high school actually makes regular house calls to children. And during one of the house calls, um, a student let him know that he was sorry that he hadn't been attending school as much, but due to his parents having to work more and being out of the home more, he's been the sole caretaker for his younger siblings. So I thought that was important to highlight because that in itself can bring a certain level of stress to a teenager who isn't used to having to care for his siblings. So it's an intense role change um, and something that definitely needs to be noted. Another thing that the article touches on is how some children don't wanna have their um, cameras on in the virtual format for online class due to you know no Wi-Fi or slow internet connection, but also because they're embarrassed for their peers or teachers to see the inside of their homes. So I think it's also important to focus on the stress that comes with that because the pandemic has really brought a sense of intimacy into a lot of our lives. Um, and for children, that can be very stressful for them due to judgment or fear of judgment um, and you know maybe getting made fun of by their peers. So I just think it's important for us to focus on the stress that it is bringing children. I think sometimes we really focus on the economic aspects um, of COVID-19 and how it's affected everyone economically, but these children are also being affected mentally as well. So I wanted to bring awareness to that and highlight that um, as part of the research that I've been doing. And also next week, I will talk to you guys about some work I've been doing surrounding education funding for students K through 12, and I'm excited to do that. But um, I'm really honored and privileged to be able to be a part of CWLA in addressing these issues that have been caused by the pandemic. Um, and I will continue to keep you guys updated on any other projects and assignments that I'm doing. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks.